Fabio Wardley produced one of the boxing knockouts of 2024 last weekend as he rendered Fraser Clark unconscious in the opening round of their rematch for the British and Commonwealth heavyweight titles in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The victory was about as emphatic of a win as can ever be seen in a boxing ring, but the result still looks set to be a controversial one. Clark was left needing surgery on a broken jaw after being taken out with a savage blow by Wardley. The previously unbeaten big phrase slumped into the ropes and had to have oxygen administered in the ring after the bout. It was a truly violent finish, and one that Clark's promoter, Ben Shalom, now has experts investigating to see if there was anything abnormal about Wardley's gloves on the night, given the sheer amount of damage that was done to his fighter. The 29-year-old slugger was wearing custom fly gloves for the bout. Speaking earlier this week, Shalom confirmed, yes. It's something, the gloves, we're looking very carefully at with our team. Shalom continued, it's no excuse. Fraser lost the fight fair and square, but it's the damage that they could cause and that'll have to be looked at. I take nothing away from Fabio Wardley. Class act, class performance, but it's something that we'll look at going forward. Wardley's promoter. Frank Warren was fuming at the suggestion that his fighter may have cheated. The veteran matchmaker told Talksport, prior to the fight Shalom said something like. There was a big concern about them, he didn't even attend the rules meeting. Why didn't he attend the rules meeting if he had that concern? If he was so concerned he, as his representative, could have been there, but he didn't attend. Pure nonsense. Any. Boxers camp can inspect the other boxer's choice of gloves and make an objection if they wish. Frazier's camp checked. It at the rules meeting, they said he didn't like flies. But Robert Smith said they are approved gloves and Frazier could wear them if he wished. The allegation is unfounded, it's untrue, it's stupid, naive, and it's like clutching at straws for a defeat. Whether Shalom can successfully obtain any evidence for his claims remains to be seen, but Clark himself appears willing to accept the result, recently congratulating Wardley for his win.